Taking a look at today's interest rate markets, let's look at the 10-year note futures as they're rebounding some today. 10-year note futures are coming off of the lowest close in basically four months in the previous session to trade higher today, off the intraday highs, but still higher on the session, back into the middle of the 110 handle at 110 spot 1.3 as the markets are adjusting and certainly in, uh, looking forward, I think, this week as to a few big items on the docket this week. Number one, the election tomorrow, but also the Fed announcement on Thursday is certainly in focus this week. And that is a day later than usual, as we are seeing it moved a day later due to the election tomorrow. And so therefore, the announcement is on Thursday this week. And the markets are pricing in a very high probability that the Fed will follow through with a 25 basis point cut. The CME Fed Watch tool pricing in a very high probability of that. And I think that's shifting sentiment, at least short term here. And we also will have some economic data throughout the week that could influence the market as well. So with the yields today, we're seeing the yield dropping by four basis points to 433 basis points. Now, we did see a low yield intraday of 426 basis points. So we're seven basis points off those lows. But nonetheless, uh, still seeing yields moving lower here for the first time, really, in uh, several sessions. And we look at the yield curve. We're seeing the yield curve lower across the entire curve today. We're buy buying pressure from the short end of the curve to the back end of the curve and a little flatter. So the back end of the curve, we're seeing yields lower, moving lower, heavier buying pressure on the back end of the curve today. So flattening that curve out a little bit. But overall, uh, we are seeing, at least for the short term, uh, some buying pressure coming off those four-month lows, moving yields lower in today's action.